This is a fight that you will not win. She's killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. Leslie Headland, who created the show, is a big Star Wars fan. I want to know what your level of fandom was going into this. It definitely does not match Leslie's. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible. <laughs> yes, Leslie is, yeah, she is a true, true fan. So we definitely had her to defer to, and if we had any questions, it's, it was, yeah, definitely towards to Leslie. But in terms of, I don't know, my experience in, with Star Wars, I grew up with the prequels, you know, watching Phantom Menace. Um, just replaying the Darth Maul, Qui-Gon Jinn, um, <laughs> Obi-Wan fight over and over again. Nice. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it was, uh, that was my, it wasn't as high level of fandom as Leslie's, but definitely appreciated uh, those movies. Yeah, it's similar for me. Like I loved the prequels growing up and I watched the original trilogy with my dad and I saw the sequels in theaters and the prequels are definitely the most definitive for me um, when it comes to my childhood, but this was really an opportunity to become a super fan mm. and have it be our jobs. And that was so lovely just because I've always loved sci-fi universes or fantasy universes. But for some reason, the opportunity had never really presented itself to me growing up to dive deep into all the lore of Star Wars. And once I got this job, that became like my full-time job. Like for a year, I had a year before I even arrived to set. And so, in that time, that's when I was learning everything I possibly could about like midi chlorians and you know light speed and um, every creature. Yeah, those blue things. Milk. And blue milk, <laughs> <laughs> which is delicious, by the way. If you get it, just <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I didn't. I went to Disneyland recently. I read. I rode all the Star Wars rides. I didn't try the blue milk. <laughs> you gotta do it. Um, how's this? This is set before anything that we've seen in the Star Wars universe so far on film. How's this different? brings in this whole other genre tonality uh, influenced by martial arts films. Mm. Uh, one of our references in a film we all watched together when we began production was Kill Bill. Uh, and that was kind of the archetype that Leslie based some of the characterizations off of. May is very much a femme fatale assassin archetype. And the fight sequences that happen are very integral to the show. Um, it's also a murder mystery, and I think that's a little different than the structure of some of the other shows or movies. At the same time, it's really fun, and mm -hmm. there's like a campy element too that harkens back to the original trilogy. Um, so yeah, I think it's an exciting blend of those things. Yeah, and, and on top of that, like the, um, I guess this, the setting of having the Jedi be, you know, at a, at a place where uh, they're very much the dominant power, you know. Um, we see a lot of Jedi. We see a lot of lightsabers in this in this series, and it just it makes it so much more um, lively and exciting, seeing all these different colors. Um, but yeah, and it's an interesting take as well because we I remember in one of the screenings and talking to somebody, and they mentioned that it was the first time that they really, really felt intimidated by the by the Jedi. So it's just like all these mm. different perspectives. That's um, yeah, um, that we're exploring in, in this in this new territory. Did you ever think about other Star Wars characters that you hope or wish that your characters could have met up with? Oh, could have met up with? Huh. I would love to see Osha and Han Solo meet up. <laughs> I feel like that would yes. go really interestingly. And then maybe like May and Padme. Mm. Padme. <laughs> yes, Padme. Yeah, what is their ship name? Padme. It was just Padme. That's what I realized just now. Because I didn't make a new word. I just yeah. said the same one and I didn't realize Padme. it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Chimere would have a great time with Han Solo. I think they're kind of on the opposite ends of each other. Um, yeah, they're both, I feel like they have this, maybe they've gone through the same struggles and yeah, I'd love to to see how they interact with one another. Uh, everybody is on the internet researching about this villain. One word, describe the villain for us. Ooh. Which villain? One <laughs> word. Um, unexpected. Um, contrarian. 
It's time to face the past. Destiny is not decided for you by an anonymous force. 